Well, good evening, everyone, and tēnā koutou katoa. Welcome to the first Auckland Conversations event of 2018. I'm Bernard Hickey, and I'll be facilitating the conversation this evening. These conversations provide an opportunity to inspire and stimulate your thinking about the challenges around Auckland. I'm sure we all are inspired and stimulated every day about, <laughs> around the challenges of Auckland, and here's a great chance to think about it in a deeper way and start uh, talking about what we do next. Because tonight we focus on transport and the 10-year budget and Auckland plan 2050 consultation, which is open today and will run until the 28th of March. So mark, mark that in your calendars. We want to hear from as many of you as possible on the consultation topics during this month. And from today, you can have your say at vis and visit akhaveyoursay.nz. So it's akhaveyoursay.nz to find out more about this con consultation and provide your feedback. Or you can get hard copies of the feedback form and more information can be fa found at the stand at the back of the room. So if you, you want to do the, the analogue thing, the stand at the back of the room, the digital thing, akhaveyoursay.nz. And thank you for joining us tonight. It's great to have such a fantastic turnout. Um, who would have thought a, a boring discussion about transport policy would get so many people out and about? Perhaps we should have um, charged for people to come in. That would have uh, helped pay for the transport, perhaps. Uh, or maybe pay-per-view, because, of course, this is being streamed live. Uh, more popular, perhaps, than the Joseph Parker fight. Uh, and maybe more blood on the floor by the end of it, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, it's great to have you all here tonight. Um, and there will be live streaming uh, of this event uh, at both the Auckland Conversations and the New Zealand Herald websites. Just a couple of housekeeping notes to start with. In the unlikely event of an emergency, an alarm will sound and will be directed out of the building by our ushers, so look out for those. Bathrooms are located at the back of the room to the left of the bar, so uh, just around the corner there. Um, we also have to thank our Auckland Conversations partner, the sponsor, Resine, and our Auckland partner, South Base Construction, and all of the program supporters. Tonight, uh, we're going to be joined by a group of panellists from Greater Auckland, uh, the website, formerly known as Transport Blog, Auckland Transport, uh, McGreedy Winder & Co, and Infrastructure New Zealand, to talk about transport in Auckland. The format tonight, we're first going to have a discussion amongst the panellists, we're going to hear from the Mayor, and then there'll be a chance for uh, people here to ask questions, uh, both uh, through an interesting new interactive tool that we've got uh, tonight called Slido. And if you've got a smartphone with you, um, who, who actually doesn't have a smartphone at the moment? Oh, we've got someone at the back. Is it a Nokia? Yes. Well, if you've got a smartphone, what you need to do to be able to lodge an online question is to go to slido.com, that's S-L-I-D-O dot com, and enter the event code X, that's uppercase X115, X115, that's for asking your question. And uh, there'll be a, a roll of questions uh, in front of us here at the panel, and we'll answer those questions through the evening. There will be a time, too, for people who want to put up their hand and ask a question at the end, and that will be entertaining. Uh, we'll also, and uh, we're also keen to be as inclusive as possible and accessible. Uh, there is, of course, on-demand viewing of the event. There'll be a full transcript and captioning of the event, and the presentations will be available on the Auckland Conversations website in the next few days. I wanted to, before we introduce uh, the Mayor and our panel, just have a, a quick view around this amazing place of Auckland and think about transport. But before I do, I want to introduce you to a key piece of my personal toolbox. Can anyone see what this is? It is an AT hop cart. And the reason this is interesting is that I live in Wellington. 
So what am I doing with an AT Hopcat? Well, actually, I find, and I, I have to come to Auckland every couple of weeks uh, for a day or two, that now this is the way I get around the city, both from the airport and into the CBD and around the CBD. I'm finding, as a Wellingtonian, that I have to think about Auckland's transport situation, and I'm sure everyone here is in that situation. Now, and particularly, we've had a change of government, and there is a different mood, if you like, in the room about how our transport should be planned for, how it's going to be paid for. And of course, we've got the, the news that came through just before Christmas that the new government is keen to bring in a 10 cent per litre uh, fuel levy from July the 1st to help pay for the transport infrastructure that will have to be put into the city to deal with the real pressures, the one to two billion dollars a year of costs from congestion charges. The pressures of our population growth, which at two to three percent has been much faster than we had expected and which transport planners had expected. We're going to talk tonight, and I'm sure you're already aware about the discussions around congestion charging, you know, a, a charge for perhaps going on to the motorway in the long, long future. Other ways to manage this real challenge we have in Auckland. It's going to be a fun discussion tonight. I'm, I'm sort of serious about pay-per-view. I think we'd, we'd, we'd have a big audience <laughs> online. Uh, but first, I'd like to introduce the Mayor, Phil Goff. So please, uh, Mayor Goff, come, please come to the stage and, and give us a rundown on how you see things. 